Today's video, I would like to introduce you a very nice problem of Greece Mathematical Olympiad Edition 2000. Here is the following information. Our goal, we are going to find all primes p such that we have this setup 1 plus p plus p squared plus p cubed plus p to the fourth is a perfect square. Okay? This expression is involved. Now, in order to build a perfect square here, we are going to check the appropriate value of the prime p. Anyway, you can go through the factorization to transfer this one into the product where we can solve the equation simply, okay? So I would be recommend to give the try to this problem prior to getting to the solution. So go ahead, pause this video where you come back to see the full solution. Now let's get started. So I have this expression. So in order to have a perfect square here, I'm going to write this one on this form, x squared, okay? Now I'm going to break this one into two cases. When we have p as an even prime and when we have p as an odd prime. Let's start with the even prime. p if p if p equals 2 I'm going to insert this value into this expression. So we'll have x squared equals 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared plus 2 cubed plus 2 to the fourth I'm going to calculate this one is giving us so if you calculate this one is giving us 31 okay which is not a perfect square that's mean p this one is telling us p must be another prime okay now i'm going through the general case so first table i'm going to move over this number one to the right and factor out this expression so we'll have p plus p square plus p cubed plus p to the fourth equals x squared minus 1, okay? Now I'm going to factor these two terms. I'm going to tick number p as a multiplier for the first term and p cubed as a multiplier for the second term. I will have the following expression. I will have p factor 1 plus p plus p cubed factor 1 plus p also equals x squared minus 1. I get 1 plus p as a common factor for both terms. So I'm going to put 1 plus p like this. Factor p, this one is multiplied by p, the other one is multiplied by p cubed. At the same time, I'm going to take p out of this box. I will have p factor 1 plus p factor 1 plus p square, which equals x square minus 1. So I have the difference of two squares. I'm, I'm also going to factor out this one on the form of the product, which is x minus one factor x plus one, okay? If you take a look carefully at the above expression, this expression is x squared is a odd. This means x is a odd because since we have p as an odd prime, if you add these two terms, it becomes even. And with these two terms, it become even. Plus number one, become odd. That means x is odd. Since x is odd, that means x plus one is even. This is even. This one has the same parity, which is even. Since the right-hand side of this equation is even, also the left-hand side of this equation is even. Because that means even is multiplied by even, is given as even. Is multiplied by odd, it stay even. Here is a problem. We cannot solve this equation like this because this one is even, this one is even. We don't know this term has a prime factor or even factor, okay? Now I'm going to make some motivation and substitution in order to transfer all these th things into another expression where we can conclude our solution, okay? So by doing that, I'm going to set, let's set x plus 1 equals, let's put x plus 1 equals 4m. So to get x minus 1 by adding minus 2 on both sides, I will get x minus 1 here equals 4m minus 2. Why 4m? Because anyway, this number is a bigger because we have the left hand side of this equation. We have m as a positive integer, okay? Like this. So also this term and this term are even. So I'm going to make the substitution for this term. Let's set p 
plus number one equals to k. Okay, now I'm going to move over number one to the right. I will get p equals to k minus one. I'm going to calculate p square. I will get p square here, which is equal four. You get p square here, which is four k square minus four k plus number one. By adding number one on both sides, I will get p square plus one equals four k square minus four k plus number two. Okay. Now I'm going to plug all this information into this expression to see what's giving us. Okay. So I'm going to leave p as is it as a prime. P is multiplied by 2k is multiplied by this term which is 4k square minus 4k plus number 2 equals, equals 4m is multiplied by 4m minus 2 okay we always have k is a sum natural number Okay, for the left hand side of this equation, I'm going to take number two out of this box as a multiplier, and also I'm going to take number two out of this one, which is four. Two is multiplied by two, which is four. I will get four p is multiplied by k is multiplied by two k squared minus two k plus number one. Here I will have four is multiplied by 2 m is multiplied by 2 m minus 1 okay like this so i'm going to cancel out number 4 from the left and the right now we'll have p is multiplied by k is multiplied by 2 k square minus 2 k plus number 1 equals 2 m is multiplied by 2 m minus 1 okay so i have ended with this expression if you take a look carefully at the right hand side of this equation so the right hand side of this equation is a even that's mean that the left hand side of this equation is a even okay so but but this term is a odd because this one is a even this one is a even plus number one becomes odd also p is a odd okay because it's a odd prime so that's mean k is a even that's mean k is a even since k is a even i can write k on this form for c minus two okay where is the c is a sum natural number c is superior equal to one okay because if you plug number one here we'll get four minus two which is two we are good to go okay i'm going to plug this value of k into this expression okay so we'll get p is multiplied by 4c minus 2 factor by plugging k here I'm going to take also number 2 as a common factor we'll have to see to make it e to make it easy in calculation so like this so I'm going to take this value and insert it here I'm going to square this one I will get 4 is multiplied by this one quantity square okay but 4 is multiplied by this number 2, we'll get 8 as a first term. 8 is multiplied by 2c minus 1 quantity square. Okay? Minus 2k. Minus 2 is multiplied by this 2, is, is giving us minus 4. So we'll have minus 4 is multiplied by 2c minus 1 plus the original one. Okay? This one equals 2m is multiplied by 2m minus 1 okay now i'm going to take number 2 as a common factor here i will get 2 is multiplied by p is multiplied by 2c minus 1 factor 8 is multiplied by 2c minus 1 quantity square minus 4 is multiplied by 2c minus 1 plus number 1 because 2m is multiplied by 2m minus 1 okay so I will be I will get number two cancelled out from the left and the right. I will be left with this expression. This expression is an odd because this term is a even. This term this term is a even. Plus number one is giving us odd. Okay. 
This one also is an odd. Okay, because this one is written on the form. This one is 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 written on the odd form. Okay, and also this one is odd because it's an odd prime. So that that's mean that the whole left side is an odd. That's mean the right hand side of this equation must be odd as well. Okay. Now here is a thing. Here is a thing. If you check carefully, if you take a look carefully at the left hand side of this equation, we have three terms here. We have this term, this term, and this term. But the right hand side of this equation we have only two terms, which means of these terms must be equal to one. Okay? Which one equals one here? Since we know p is superior to 3, this one impossible equals 1 because this is, a, because this is a odd prime. And also this one is impossible to be number 1 because this one is a huge number. Okay? If you, if you check number c, if you, if you take c as a minimum value here, you get, you get 2 minus 1 which is 1, 8 minus 4 which is 4, plus 1 which is 5 which is bigger than 1, which we are not taking this term as a number 1. So this one must be equals 1. So this one is telling us 2c minus 1 must be equals, equals 1. That means 2c minus 1 must be equal to 1. By taking number, by taking minus 1 to the right, I will get 2c equals 2. In the other word, c equals 1. Okay? Now I found the value of c. Now I'm going, to I'm going to take this value of c and insert it into this expression to see what's given us. So we'll have p is multiplied. 2c minus 1 is given as number 1. This one is also is given as number 1, which I will be left with 8. This one also is, is 1 because 2 minus 1, which is 1, minus 4, plus number 1. I'm going to simplify this one. I will have... 8 minus 4, which is 4, 4 plus 1, which is 5. I, I will be left with 5. P equals this term. M is multiplied by 2M minus 1. Okay? So I have ended with this expression. Now, I'm going to erase this board and bring this one at the top and continue solving our equation. Okay? Previously, I was working on this equation and came up with this expression. For all M, As an some natural number equals m is super equal to one. Okay. Now since the left hand side of this equation is odd, because this one is odd prime, is multiplied by five, and also the right hand side of this equation must be odd. Okay. This one is odd, automatically is odd, but this one that's mean m is odd. By making the comparison, since we don't know which one is a smaller, which one is a bigger, now I'm going to now I'm going to break this one into two cases. I will have two equation system. First one I will have five equals m and p equals 2m minus 1. Also, I will have p equals m. The second possibility, 5 equals 2m minus 1. Okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to start with the first one. By plugging m with number 5, I'll get p equals 2 is multiplied by 5 minus 1. is given as 10 minus 1, which is 9. This is impossible. This is impossible because p is a prime. I'm going to check with this one now. Now I'm simply going to solve for n. I'm simply going to solve for m. So by taking minus 1 to the left, I will get 6 equals 2m. In the, in the other word, m, by dividing both sides by number 2, I will get m equals 3. Okay? Now we found p as a prime equals number 3. Okay? Now for verification, just plugging number 3 into this expression is giving us 121. 121 is the same as 21 square, which is a perfect square, okay? Also, there is another method by transferring this one into inequality and check where we have a perfect square, okay? Let me know in the comment section below. So I have done this problem. If you are interested in this one, don't forget to support us with your like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.